All right, it's your boy Ice Starkey back with Ice Starkey Boxing. Um, today we're talking about um, a, a, a white hot prospect. Um, his name is Tremaine Williams. Um, he's definitely an um, elite fighter um, on the rise. Um, he's 15 and 0. Um, he only got five KOs, but um, the KOs are very misleading because he's a very hard puncher, but he's a very, very slick, slick boxer. At first glance, you're going to see that he looks like a uh, Pernell Whitaker. Um, when you see him slip his punches and I mean if you're watching this video right here you're gonna see him do a lot of things um, I've been following this guy since he was an amateur um, this guy fights in um, super band and weight to uh, featherweight division so that's like 122 to 126 um, he's he's been like that ever since he turned pro um, he's definitely a guy to watch because he can easily upset the apple cart look you see that slip right there and um, that was dope but um he, he can upset the apple cart and um, definitely go on a run and, and a tear. I think he's going to be a future world champion. Um, he's already got some tough uh, veterans with um, uh, world-class uh, skill under their background, like Joshua Bowes. Um, and, um, you know, these are tough, tough uh, veteran fighters. And um, he uh, has definitely beat them. Right. Um, this is a guy who turned pro around 2012, right after the 2000, 2012 Olympics. You know, a lot of guys were coming out of there and they were turned pro. He turned around, turned pro around that time. He strang off a bunch of fights. Um, I believe he was signed to top rank at that time. Um, and top rank was on the rise of, of promoting this guy and getting him some bigger fights. Well, some issues happen. And, um, uh, you know, uh, he's from Connecticut. Um, there's a street uh, entity from Connecticut from anybody that's up north. Um, that lives up north, they'll tell you. Um, he got caught up in some gang things and um, there was a gun found in his house and he got the gun charge and had to sit out for about two years. Ended up getting dropped from the label but then came back. Um, right now he's a Rock Nation fighter. Um, so he fights for throne boxing, uh, but under it's under a Rock Nation banner. So um, they're gonna give him some experience in that. Let him rock out in this for a while. Let's see where he can go. Um, but the boy can definitely fight. Um, when you watch some of his earlier fights and some of his earlier knockout you can be like oh my god this dude is amazing i mean even in this fight right here i mean he's taking it to the guy um he can slip he can get on the inside he can bang they call him the mighty midget they don't call him the mighty midget for nothing he's got really 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 good defense and that's what i like to see from uh prospects coming up he's not a younger guy per se like 18 19 but um he's definitely got elite level defense um recently though um you know he's called out uh gary russell jr he has called out Gary Russell Jr. as of recent. Say Gary Russell Jr. fights people he know he can beat. Um, he wants to fight Gary Russell Jr. So um, that would definitely be a good fight for me to see. Um, they, I'm pretty sure they have some history because of the amateurs. Um, and they'll go back and forth. But um, I definitely would like to see that fight. Gary Russell Jr. is a very fast, fast fighter. I think he... At this at this point right now, Gary Ross Jr. has a, a ton of experience, um, and um, he's virgining on the B plus level to get to uh, on the A levels, whereas he's still trying to carve a name out uh, for himself. Uh, my guy right here, Tremaine Williams. But I just want to let the hard fight fan know. Um, about the up and coming new guys that's out that I see, and um, any of the new guys that I see that's dope, um, I want to put them out there and um, put them out there for y'all so y'all can look at them, so y'all can follow his career. But definitely follow this guy's career, Trey Main Williams. If you're sitting down on the couch, you see a PBC event, or you're on HBO sometime, you hear something named Tremaine Williams, go ahead and tune it in because it's going to be a must see fight. Uh, but, um, you know, if y'all heard of the guy, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, let me know if you if you don't, from looking at what he seen right for this fight right here, if you don't think he is a top guy, let me know. You know what I mean? Like always, the, com the links are in the description. Um, check me out. And, uh, you know, just leave a comment. Let me know what you think so we can start some threads on this. Peace.